Welcome everybody to Falcon Plays Halcyon 6 episode number one. This is going to be a new series for the channel as you probably imagine and one that I'm really excited to be playing for you because I've been keeping my eye on this game for a long time now and I finally got my hands on it over here to show off to you guys. This will be coming out on Steam Early Access on April 21st. If we run into any sort of bugs or issues just keep a heads up that it's still a uh, beta copy that I'm over here messing around with and the game is coming out on the 21st. There's tons of fixes going on daily as well so you know just a a little bit of an FYI for you. But what is Halcyon 6 all about, Falcon? Very good question. Um, what Halcyon 6 reminds me of is kind of like a myriad of a ton of different titles put together. There's elements of um, 4X titles in the game. There's elements of FTL. There's elements of um, XCOM as well. And what's really neat about it too is that even though it's got all these little like small mechanics of these games, there's enough attention to these mechanics where it feels like they actually put some thought into them as opposed to just kind of tacking on an extra feature for extra gameplay, but the feature itself isn't really fleshed out. So there's definitely a lot of attention to these things over here in this game. But instead of talking more about it, let's get into the game over here and show you what it's all about. So we're going to go into new game. We're going to start off with the tutorial because the tutorial does a really good job of teaching you the basics and then it kind of transcends itself into the actual storyline itself. So uh, we'll be doing opening scroll over here. Play from the start of the game, go for it. For half a millennium, the spacefaring races of the galaxy fought and conspired against one another for supremacy. But it was the Terran Federation through the ingenuity and bravery of its officer class that ultimately prevailed. Through the discovery and utilization of ancient artifacts left over from a long-dead precursor alien race, they put on an end to the disastrous series of wars between the factions. One of these precursor artifacts is your home, Halcyon 6. The crown jewel of the Terran precursor discoveries, the Starbase acts as the Federation's home base in the Halcyon sector. Commanded by Admiral... Brahma Chandra, the Federation's most decorated officer and protected by the 12th Fleet, the Starbase is permanently staffed with a variety of Federation officers with the mission of unlocking its mysteries. Today, however, the station has received some unwelcome news. A garbled hypercast ordering the 12th Fleet returns to Federation space. With the intention of returning as soon as possible to continue the work on the quote-unquote experiment, Admiral Brahma Chandra leaves you in charge of the station. Prepare for warp. And this will all be done automatically, I'm pretty sure. So right now it's just teaching us the basics, giving us some background on the entire story itself. Commander McLaurin. Admiral, we've arrived at the rendezvous point, and there's no sign of the welcoming force. No hypercast signals detected either. Think we're early? Broaden your signal detention, Captain. The Fort and Eight fleets are expected to join us as well, and those Titan-class ships should be hard to miss. Uh, Admiral, I'm picking up something, definitely not Federation origin, some kind of... Whatever it is, it's getting stronger, sir. Uh oh. Uh, I've never seen anything like this before, sir. Some kind of portal? Admiral, I'm suddenly getting multiple ship readings all heading to our position. They must be coming out of that thing. Indeed they are. Unknown hostiles, I repeat, unknown hostiles. We might have to get a little creative here. Uh oh. Alrighty, click on the highlighted button to attack with the incisor beam power. So this will kind of teach us the whole battling mechanics. We have three ships in our command right now. And we have some apparently mutant origin or alien in origin spaceships maybe over here, which are, you know, look pretty fleshy to me. Organisms, anything, but whatever. Um, click the highlighted button to attack with the incisor beam power. So we have, we're attacking down here right now, so we'll go ahead and use the incisor beam as the game wants me to. And we'll go after the spiked alien, the Shurl. Let's go for it. Nice damage. Let's see, this guy has 1200 HP. Well, how much do you have? 4,500, and you have 3,200, okay. Uh, strafing run, all enemies, so this will hit all enemies right now, right? No, 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 wait, wait, we want the backstab maneuver. Okay, so backstab maneuver on big alien over here, huh? Why do you want me to spread my attacks around? I like to go after one person and then the other one and so on and so forth. Well, whatever, we'll go after this one here. Nice. And we also inflicted disable. so for one turn this ship will not be able to do anything to us, so that's actually pretty neat. Uh, drone Swarm, all enemies. Let's go ahead and do this one here. That'll attack everybody. And if I'm right, we also... Oh, they resisted that. Uh, had we affected them with whole breach, they would take damage over time as well because of the, the breach of their hull, obviously. Uh, sometimes units can resist attack effects. Higher resistance stats to an effect type can take the resistance more likely. Alright. Now they're attacking us now. This one's charging up something. Chaos Charge. Uh, the middle ship seems to be powering up a large attack. Protect your allies with a group protection power. So we have 
protective field. Let's go ahead and cast it on all of our people here. Great. Protected. The large enemy ship is in the middle of uh, momentarily stunned because of the stun that we actually hit him with. Bridge shot does an extra damage against stunned enemies. So now we could actually combo attack. So if he's stunned and I hit him with the bridge shot, as you can see, it exploits ships that are, that are disabled. So you could kind of like link and combo attacks uh, based on their effects on him. So that's actually a really neat feature as well. We'll go ahead and do that. Combos of core when a power does bonus damage against a ship affected by a specific status effect, which is kind of what I talked about, game. I guess I'm kind of getting ahead of myself here. Alrighty, select the Acid Bomb's ability. This is going to inflict Acid Bomb on individuals. Let's see, what does that do? Fires bombs to full of acid at the enemy can cause the target's crew to panic. Ah, panicking aliens, huh? Alrighty, we'll see. Ah, I think we actually got one. Yeah, this guy's panicked, they're panicking. Oh, they're all panicking, great. But now they hit us with some sort of acid attack, too. And we were also exploited, our vulnerability was exploited. Oof, we're about to go down right here. Uh, when ships are badly damaged, use a repair power like the Cataris Eyes Hole. Okay. So, let's um, heal up our middle guy over here. 526. Not really too much, but it's something. Select the Strafing Rung Power. Boom. One down, right? Yeah, one of them's down. And let's go back to Repair Drone, and we want to fix ourselves yet again. How much are we looking at here? We're looking at... At... 764, alrighty, good. Oh, right on time, too. And our crew is panicking. Alright, so we have the Doom Cannon on a single enemy. The middle guy? The bottom one. Okay. Doom Cannon! That seems like a lot of doom right there. Oh, hey, this guy's still perfectly alive. Oh, and he destroyed my ass. <laughs> Combat sometimes results in sacrifice of the greater good. Best learn this now. So on occasion, you will definitely have to sacrifice some of your people. That's to be expected in this type of game, though. Use the Warlock Stasis Lock. Okay. And... Ocular Vessel, that would be you. And now, what did that cause? So his engine went down, meaning the ship's engines are down and it's slowed. So he'll basically take longer for his turn to actually hit us over here. Uh, use the Paladin's Improved Ram on this guy. Go for it. Enough for the kill. Yeah! Alright, cool. It should be noted as well, a lot of these attacks... Oh, that's that guy too! Great! It should be noted, a lot of these attacks have cooldown periods as well, so you can't really just spam a single strong attack over and over. Some of them will have cooldown times as well. Um, Admiral, we're picking up more of those portals on the sensor. Ooh boy, they're popping up all over us right now. That is no good. We're being surrounded! Admiral, we need to jump now, back to Halcyon 6. I've got... Ooh, buddy, buddy, buddy. That is a huge vessel! Oh god, what is that? That thing? Jump now, for god's sake, jump n I don't think we made it. Commander, we seem to have lost our hypercast link with Admiral Brahmachandra in the 12th Fleet. Oh yeah, I don't think they're with us anymore, my friends. Not anymore. Now we're back in Halcyon 6, Starbase Commander, that's gonna be us now. Act 1, so that's basically the old tutorial stuff right there. It's still gonna teach you a few more things as we go along over here, but that gave you like the idea as to what it's all about. Uh, with the 12th Fleet destroyed and little information as to whether the Federation still even stands, you and your crew are stranded in hostile alien territory, cut off from resupply, and in desperate need of more crew. You have little choice but to continue working on Admiral Bremachandra's experiment to try to unlock the power of the station. Meanwhile, enemies may soon catch wind of the Federation's weakness and use that as an opportunity to strike and claim the station for themselves. Choose your first officer. Alright, so now we get to choose our officer over here. Now, this will be like our, our very first quote-unquote fighter, our ship anyway, and then he'll also do a lot of stuff in the base as well for us at the Halcyon 6 base, I should say. Uh, we're going to start getting attacked by aliens, pirates, and other factions as well now that they... Now that everybody knows that we're weakened because our Admiral is now lost. And the point is now that we have to kind of find materials, resources, fuel, etc. to keep ourselves afloat, continue researching, and continue expanding our area of control in a sense. So this is where all the 4X strategy comes into play as well, which is actually really, really cool. So right now we get to choose our, our first officer. I'm going to go with the engineer to begin with, and then we'll probably follow it up with a scientist afterwards. I haven't messed around with the tactical people just yet, but I like engineer and scientist. It's a pretty good combination. So. Uh, considered, uh, actually, let's just select this officer here. Engineering officers are the toughest and mechanically minded officers in the Federation. 
Their power repertoire often consists of damage over time attacks, hardening attacks, and taunt attacks, while buffs often prevent itself from harm. In space combat, engineer officers are able to command engineer spaceships, which have the toughest hull of the three ship class types, tactical, science, and engineering. So we'll select him for a fact over here. Uh, sorry to wake you, Commander, but it looks like we have a situation. Our sensors have picked up a fleet coming our direction. The signal suggests a pirate, uh, pirate's origin. Okay. We should expect him to arrive here in 48 hours. In the case of hostiles, the experiment may be our only hope to defend ourselves. The crew will work around the clock to make the necessary preparations. And here they come. Commander, the incoming fleet we detected has just entered our space. It's a single pirate ship, likely hostile, patching them through right now. Federation Starbase, our scouts detected the departure of your fleet over a week ago. You're now at the mercy of Admiral Admirax Zeb and the Zealots clan. Hand over the Starbase and we'll allow you to return to Federation space. Comply or we will commence orbital bombardment. Bombardment! Bombardment! Only bombardment! Uh, this is a scenario screen. The screen will appear during missions that require key decisions, such as attacking, retreating, or using an officer to gain a special outcome. In this case, the pirate fleet is demanding your surrender. Choose the response below. Hint, you should choose to reject the surrender. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if you surrender, it's probably game over, huh? So let's go ahead and reject it. I forgot you, Federal... Your Federalists love your precursor toys. Prepare for bombardment, Federation Scrum. Bombardment! Commander, in light of this development, we should begin initializing experiment starship creation process now. So now we have to obviously construct a, a fleet for my first officer over here. So let's go into creating our first ship over here. And we have the Knight Engineering. So we'll definitely pick him up. It's going to take us three days to get this built, however. So build ship. Build it up. And it's going to all take different type of resources. This is going to take 60 people and 400 of this. I think that's dark matter, if I'm correct. And yeah, we have crew, materials, dark matter, and fuel. All these will be needed to research stuff to um, continue exploring the universe, so on and so forth. And you'll be able to set up bases to kind of build those um, materials over time as well. And also by doing quests and things of that nature. So here's our queued up list. We have two days until the night is actually finished. So to skip time... Go back to the star map and go ahead and skip time over here. Luckily for us, the pirates are going to actually wait around until we're actually ready to fight them, so... Good on that pirate, huh? Are you going to ever stop? There he goes. Commander, we're ready to launch. Launch him. Boom! Uh, Commander, the experiment was a, su a success. All scans suggest this newly constructed ship to be ready for combat. Uh, she just requires an officer to commander, obviously. So we're going to use Isolde Freehold. And you're good to go. Let's go back outside. The enemy fleet is stationed at the Starbase Approach. Click there now. Click the Send Fleet button to dispatch the fleet to this location. And it's going to require how much fuel? Zero. Luckily, it doesn't require much because we're down to five right now only. And obviously, if we want to explore into the deep um, areas of space, we will obviously need to acquire fuel over time as well. Which is what essentially Admiral Brahmachandra and all those people were doing. Finding resources far away to keep the experiment going on at our starbase over here. So now we get to select the ship. We could actually go up to three ships in one fight, but right now we only have one, so we'll choose the night one, and we'll launch our fleet over here. The pirate ship swoops into attack position. Attack pirate ship. Okay, cool. So now the game's telling me not to do stuff anymore. It's basically up to me. What I'm going to start off with, I love doing this to begin with, which is to be hitting them with a hull breach so they take damage over time. So let's start off with that one here. And we breached their hull, and they're going to take 117 damage each round for three rounds, which is actually great. And then I like to also do the Shock Mine. This is going to hopefully disable them, a 70% chance for disabling. And then it also, if we had them panicking, we'd also exploit that weakness. But right now we don't have that, so I guess we'll just try to see if we can disable them. Now that attack, if I am correct, we did disable them. Perfect. No attack for their turn. That's a cooldown time right here, so this takes at least four turns before we can use it again. So they're still over here breached. They're now disabled. Let's go in for a flag barrage over here. And they should be dying pretty soon just from the damage over time. <laughs> As I mentioned, I love the engineer. Really, really fun class. Battle one. We got 26 materials and 22 dark matter. Perfect. Uh, looks like our new ship held up pretty well, though I doubt that's the worst we'll face. Commander, we have long range hypercast coming in, putting in through now. From time to time, the leaders of various factions may contact you via the station bridge. I don't believe we've met. Feel free to refer to me as the Admirax. 
a title that denotes my supreme command over the pirate clans in this sector. Now, Commander, or maybe I say, Acting Commander? My spies tell me I should congratulate you on your new post. They've also informed me that your fleet has fled the sector, leaving you on your own. And so I'm giving you the courtesy of informing you that we'll be visiting you very soon. This is my territory, so your station now belongs to me. And, unlucky for you, I've united all the pirate clans to help me take it. I highly suggest you turn tail and return to Federation space. If you are of another mind, stay there where you are and prepare for your debts. Ah, oh, threats, huh? Okay. Time for debt, Federation pig. I will avenge the debt of Razub Toe Slicer and deliver this station to the Admirax. Sorry, what? I can't hear you. Those massive dead cannons I'm warming up are really loud. <laughs> so we have another fight over here. Alrighty, let's see. Um, let's go over here and start off with our whole breach over time, obviously. Breach them? Great. Love that. Really wish we had a second ship over here, but right now we don't really have that. So let's go into also hopefully trying to set up a, a disable. Nope, they resisted the disable. That's unfortunate. Alrighty. Not a problem. We're meant to take some damage over here. Right now these will be still like quote-unquote tutorial fights, not, you know, the actual things just yet, but like, um... Free for all gameplay, but you know, things that you still have to deal with with the story anyway. There's gonna be story progress missions, and there'll also be like, you know, just a lot of um, free for all missions as well. This right here is a story one, as you can probably tell. Let's go ahead and see if we could actually breach this guy as well. We absolutely did. Great. And then we'll follow it up. Oh, you know what? We probably. Yeah, we have to, we have to wait one more turn before we can actually try to disable. So let's go into Flag Barrage. Over here. Mm, you know what? Forget about the disabling, let's just go for the kill. He's done anyway. Alrighty, good. So much for revenge, huh? We got that one pretty well. Battle 1, 34 materials, 19 dark matter. Well, looks like we'll have no shortage of charged metal for a uh, for the time being. You can always return to your fleet to the starbase for first cl uh, clicking on your desired fleet. And then clicking to return home button over here. Commander, the crew is eager to regain our full sensor capabilities. To do that, we'll require an extra source of energy. The good news is that the tech research team has figured out a way to harness the station's core reactor with a smaller standard issue diatrium reactor. Uh, click on the tech research button to go to the tech screen. And as you can see over here, this will be our giant tech tree. There is so much to unlock in this game. As I mentioned, there's so much content in the game. It's actually really ridiculous. Uh, we also even touched on the, the, the whole building... Starbase um, room building, kind of like the whole XCOM thing as well. We'll be doing that here, I do believe. So right now we have to unlock the Diatrium Reactor, right? So let's go ahead and get this unlocked. This is going to require 200 materials and 100 dark matter, which we do have, so we'll research now. With the Diatrium Reactor tech research, it's time to create a space in the station for the reactor itself. So now, this is where the whole XCOM base building comes into play. Check this out. Now, what's really neat about this is you have to explore the areas first, because remember, we found this um, star base in the middle of this um, area in space, right? So we don't, we don't even sure what's in here. We're going to find enemies in here, aliens, etc., etc. So we have to explore everything, build rooms, and then progress slowly as we go along over here. So it's going to be a really rough journey indeed. So we're going to go over here into the Ruin Room. And we're going to go ahead and assign an office to clear out this room for us. Right now we only have one, so Isold Freehold will be the guy to skip time return to the star map and then click here all right guys so we're gonna wrap it up here for this episode today i hope you guys enjoyed it leave a thumbs up leave a like to support us a lot if you're interested in the game description below will have all the information you do need it comes out on april 21st and as i mentioned stick around we're gonna do a lot of coverage in this game because i am having a blast with it off camera stick around for the next episode i will catch you next time